Hi guys, it's Kim, and I am back today with a project for Craft Supplies 1 for the month of May. It's my first DT project for the month of May, and I'm very excited to share it with you. Um, as you saw in the photographs, it is a frame, and this frame is a Michaels frame that I got um, when I was there last week. And um, I haven't altered a Michaels frame for quite a while. I actually haven't done a frame for quite a while, so um, I decided I wanted to get some because uh, Mother's Day is coming up, and I wanted to do um, a frame for my mother-in-law, and these are the colors that she likes. And uh, so that's what I have done. So let me explain to you what I did, and I've used tons of yummy Craft Supplies One goodies on here. Just love it. Um, the paper that I've used is in my mind's eye called Spread Your Wings and Fly. And I really love this paper. It's so pretty. A lot of hot air balloons, and very shabby colors, um, but bright shabby colors like um, rich creams and the darker pinks and turquoise and things like that. So um, I wanted to pick up on those colors with the accessories I used. So what I did was I sanded the frame down because, of course, it's wood. And here's the back, and you can see after I had sanded it, I painted it this really pretty uh, color. And this is a folk art um, paint called Sunflower. And it's not like a bright yellow. It's It matched perfectly with the yellow in the paper. It's like a very creamy, dark yellow. Um, and I don't do yellow a lot, but I really liked how this came out. Um, and I used the um, the gloss Mod Podge on this, and you can see it really gave it a nice shine, so that's cool. So I did both sides, um, and this is just the piece. Um, I have the cardboard piece, too, and I'm just going to cover it um, for the photograph. So uh, after I had done both sides and Mod Podge it, and there again you can see the nice shine that's on it, um, I went around the edges with this beautiful, gorgeous Craft Supplies One Chinese braid here in this beautiful blue color, and it really picked up on the blue tones and the flowers. And then in the center, I used the creamy white one. And then after that, I just started embellishing and having a lot of fun. Um, so let me start up here in this corner, and I did a lot of keys here. I just liked the way that they looked, and Julie has tons of different keys in her store, so there's a really a good selection. This is one of her steampunk keys, um, and you can get a set of three of these in her store, and she has them in three different colors, which is very cool. So I put one of those here, and then this little key here is um, from Julie's store as well, and look how tiny that is. It's so cute. Um, and it's got a little heart on it, so I really liked it. And I just kept the keys in all of the same sort of bronzy tones. These ones are from my stash. And then up here you can see this beautiful scroll work here. This is from Gina's Designs, and I embossed it with um, a Susan Leonard Casimir color. Um, iced enamels, they're called. And... Um, uh, this is what it looks like. It's just called Iced Enamels uh, Relique, uh, and turquoise is the color. And it uh, it has a bit of black in it as well, like black and gold and things. So I really like the way that turned out. So after I uh, embossed here, and also I did this corner piece down here, after I embossed it, um, I just took some white gesso and went over it just to make it look a little shabby because um, the color was very close to the paint color I chose in the word family, so I needed to sort of make a, uh, it differentiate a bit. So um, I did those two pieces. And then over here in the corner, you will see some of Julie's uh, beautiful flowers and another one of her keys. This is one of my favorite keys. It's a little kitty cat. Love it. See the little tail there? So cute. So there's another key there. And this is um, a Gina's piece. It's just a number plate. And um, the four has significance because I have four children. So, And I'm going to put a picture of my four kids in here for her, which are her grandchildren. And these are also from Julie's store. They're like a porcelain rose. They're so pretty. And they were just the right color for the flowers and the trim and and the embossing powder, everything. So, And these are some of Julie's new flowers. Of course, the little beautiful white rosebuds. And then this beautiful sky blue rose here. And there's another one of those little porcelain flowers right there. So that sort of finished that corner off. 
And then down here you can see the word family, and um, I painted it with a folk art paint. I think it's just called turquoise, and uh, this was from Michael's. I've had it in my stash for ages, and um, what I did was I just painted it, and then I used some crackle accents on it. You can see it's cracked in a few places there. didn't crack too much, but yeah, it's not bad. It might overnight, maybe. It is dry, but who knows? <laughs> And then here I've just used a wooden clock from my stash, which I um, gessoed and sprayed with a bit of Lindy's, um, oh, I think Tiffany Lou Blue. And then um, here in the background, right here, you'll see one of Julie's really cool little penny farthing bicycles that she sells in her store. She has a ton of uh, metal filigree pieces. And then here is more of her beautiful flowers. And these, again, are the new ones. The beautiful sort of parchment fabric roses in um, the wider bud and then the smaller bud. And then there's these beautiful um, soft blue ones. And then there's another one of those big roses. And some small ones. And more of the buds right there. So that is basically my first project for Craft Supplies 1, and uh, this is going to be a one of her mo my mother-in-law's Mother's Day gifts. So I hope that she likes it, and I hope you guys like it too. So um, don't forget that um, there's two stores for Craft Supplies 1. One is on Zibit and one is on Etsy. Uh, so you have a lot of choice to um, choose what you want, and Julie has so much stuff. It's just amazing, the selection. So you'll find the links to that right down below there. And uh, that's it for right now, and I'll be back soon with another project. So take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.